Hello students, welcome back. So, in this uh, module, we are going to discuss about nth term of arithmetic progression and what is what are the special you know special cases of an uh, arithmetic progression of nth term and what is the importance of that nth term of arithmetic progression. Okay. So, basically nth term of arithmetic progression is nth term of an arithmetic progression. So, the nth term of arithmetic progression is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d. See if you understand this clearly then we can create very interesting problems with this nth term of arithmetic progression and sometimes we can easily figure out the given nth term is absolutely the nth term of arithmetic progression or not. You understand because every nth term may not be the nth term of arithmetic progression, but when you are given nth term of any sequence then you can say easily whether it is the sequence of nth term or not. right? For that you need to understand what is the definition of nth term of arithmetic progression. According to the definition a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d is the formula for nth term of arithmetic progression. If you observe this clearly and I am expanding this a is a plus n into d is equal to d n minus 1 into d is equal to d. right? I am writing this one as first n term I will write. So, d into n plus a minus d this is what nth term of arithmetic progression. See this is nth term of arithmetic progression if you observe clearly something into n plus something n is nothing but n to the power of 1. So, nth term of arithmetic progression will always be in the form of something into n plus something it means it is a linear expression nth term of nth term of an AP nth term of an AP is a linear expression. What do you mean by linear expression? Linear expression is nothing but the degree should be 1. See whatever the nth terms of different sequences are given, but if the nth term of one particular sequence is a linear expression then you can say confidently that nth term of arithmetic progression is a n is equal to p n plus q then that would be the nth term of arithmetic progression. Hope you understand. I will just give you one example on this. You are given one nth term a n is equal to 2 n plus 5 a n equal to 2 n plus 5 check whether this forms an arithmetic progression or not. If you want to check whether this forms an arithmetic progression or not, then definitely you will have to find at least three terms of this sequence. So, the very first term is going to be a 1 is equal to substitute 1 in the place of n to get the first term, then it would be 2 into 1 plus 5, 2 plus 5 is equal to 7 is the first term. And coming to second one, a 2 is equal to 2 into 2 plus 5, which is equal to 2 2s are 4, 4 plus 5 is equal to 9 and coming to third term of the sequence 2 into 3 plus 5. So, 2 3s are 6 plus 5 is equal to 11. Once you see the three terms, what are those three terms? 7 comma 9 comma 11 and so on. Is this not arithmetic progression? Absolutely an arithmetic progression. See here 7 plus 2 equal to 9 plus 2 equal to 11 and so on. So, what is that plus 2 here? That is the common difference. So, common difference is equal to 2. When observe this a n is equal to 2 n plus 5. So, a n is equal to 2 n plus 5 is basically a linear expression that is why it forms an arithmetic progression. If it is not linear expression will it not be forming nth term of arithmetic progression? Absolutely no. I will just explain you by taking one example. a n is equal to n square plus 1 a n equal to n square plus 1. Now, I am going to check whether that a n is nth term of arithmetic progression or not. For that I will have to find out a 1, a 2, a 3 compulsorily. So, find out a 1 here a 1 is equal to 1 square plus 1. So, 1 square plus 1 is equal to 1 plus 1 equal to 2 and a 2 is equal to 2 square plus 1, 2 square equal to 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 and a 3 is equal to 3 square plus 1. 
3 square equal to 9 plus 1 equal to 10, when you observe 2, 5, 10, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, but 5 plus 3 is not equal to 10, got it. So, that is why a n is equal to n square plus 1 will not form an arithmetic progression and here we just substituted the values of n is equal to 1, 2, 3 to obtain the sequence and then we checked whether a 2 minus a 1 equal to a 3 minus a 2 or not. But instead of doing all these things, we can easily check by the given expression which is in the form of nth term forms an arithmetic progression or not just by looking at that expression. If it is a linear expression, then it will form an arithmetic progression otherwise it will not form an arithmetic progression. That is why I have mentioned here that nth term of arithmetic progression will be of the form p n plus q is the nth term of arithmetic progression. In fact, you can write it as a linear expression. So, every linear expression forms nth term of arithmetic progression and coming to the next level of this concept that is yes we um, understood one thing that nth term of arithmetic progression is always a linear expression. So, I am taking that only. Suppose you are given nth term of arithmetic progression is equal to some 2n minus 5. Let us try to find what are the terms of the sequence. So, the terms are a 1 is equal to 2 into 1 minus 5. So, 2 minus 5 is equal to minus 3 a 2 is equal to 2 into 2 minus 5, 2 2 s are 4 minus 5 equal to minus 1, a 3 is equal to 2 into 3 minus 5, 2 3 s are 6 minus 5 is equal to 1 and so on. Okay. So, the sequence of terms are going to be that is arithmetic progression is going to be minus 3, minus 1, 1 and so on. Right? Of course, you know what is nth term of this arithmetic progression a n is equal to 2 n minus 5, you do not have to figure it out again. Okay. I am going to take the definition of nth term that is the formula for nth term a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d. If I simplify this, I will get a plus n into d equal to n d minus 1 d. If I write in the order then d into n plus a minus d is equal to nth term. right? So, this is nth term of arithmetic progression, this is also nth term of arithmetic progression. Now, I am going to equate both of them. When I equate both of them, then I will get d into n plus a minus d is equal to here nth term is 2 n minus 5. Correct? When I compare like terms, so what are like terms here? n term is equal to n term, constant is equal to constant. See here n term is d into n, here n term is 2 into n. right? See here n and n both are same, therefore, I am getting d is equal to 2. d is equal to 2, what is d here? d is the common difference. See here, what is the common difference of this arithmetic progression a 2 minus a 1. Here also, I will get d is equal to 2 only. So, what does it mean? It means, when you have the nth term of arithmetic progression just by using nth term of arithmetic progression, you can easily say what is the common difference of the arithmetic progression as well as whether it forms an arithmetic progression or not. So, if it is a linear expression, then it will form an arithmetic progression and then what is this 2 here? 2 is the coefficient of n that coefficient of n would be the common difference. This is what the thing that you need to remember. So, then you can easily identify whether it forms an arithmetic progression or not. So, I will write it briefly here nth term of an arithmetic progression would be in the form a n is equal to a uh, a n is equal to I will use capital letters so that there is no confusion for you all. So, a n is equal to something into n that something should be some p into n plus q 
that is a linear expression a linear expression and moreover what is the common difference and uh, its common difference is equal to p what is that p here p is coefficient of n so please do remember this is very important and useful information about nth term of arithmetic progression so hope you understand and when you are given one example that a n is equal to a n is equal to x plus y by x minus y into n minus x minus y divided by x plus y this is one of the problems where x comma y both are real numbers understand a n is equal to x plus y by x minus y into n minus x minus y by x plus y where x and y are real numbers first of all whether it forms an arithmetic progression or not obviously this forms an arithmetic progression because it is in a linear expression see x plus y by x minus y being x and y are real numbers under the conditions so it is an it is a real number it is a real number so something into n minus something is a linear expression so that is why it forms an arithmetic progression as well as what is the common difference of this arithmetic progression common difference is equal to coefficient of n so what is a coefficient of n here x plus y divided by x minus y so the coefficient is going to be x plus y by x minus y is the common difference of the arithmetic progression so hope you understand so this way you can easily identify what is nth term and what is the general form of nth term of an arithmetic progression right uh, this is one of the example like that we can give many number of examples for arithmetic progression and the nth term so hope you understand thank you